raise your hand if you have lots of old thrifty baskets laying around. Oh, I'm going to do this with it. I'm going to do that with it. But you never do. That's what today is all about. Going through and looking for some of those old baskets that we have to make some fall basket hacks. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. I'm so glad you stopped by and don't forget to subscribe and if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. So sit back, grab a snack and relax and let's DIY. Come on! Alright, I first want to show you the spray paint that I used. I picked all of these up at Walmart. I just picked out some beautiful, beautiful fall colors. This warm caramel nutmeg, that navy is so beautiful, and then some of the metallics that are going to look gorgeous. So let's get started spray painting. So this is my very first basket. It's a big one. I've had it for <laughs> a long time and I loved it. I've had a couple of plants in it and I just wanted to give it a little update so we're going to use this beautiful white rust-oleum and just instantly it turns into something very trendy white is always a great thing right now and it's so neutral so here it is all spray painted I put about two coats on there and I was thinking, do I want to do a two-tone, like maybe put some navy blue, you could put some stripes, but I decided to go and look at all of those calendars that we get at Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use the one from last year. And already, these are the ones from this year. I just want to quickly show you, there's five out, and this is the earliest that I've ever seen them out. So pick those up now, I know that every Dollar Tree that I've gone to has them. So, but this is the one from last year and I've just always loved, well, I love that pumpkin one. I've used it a lot, but I've never used the apple one. And I thought this basket would be gorgeous for orchid apples. I grabbed some burlap fabric cut it down to size, kind of pulled it off and raveled it. And I'm using some adhesive spray to put down the calendar. And I just kind of tore it uh, around the edges to make it look real old and worn. So I'm just sticking that on there and then I'm just gonna grab some Mod Podge and throw it onto the basket. I did use a little hot glue on there to keep it in place but I'm just gonna go over it with some Mod Podge. And here it is all put together. I am thrilled of how this turned out. I added some uh, little, um, what do you call them, upholstery pins on the corners there and with some fake apples and some lamb's ear. It looks so beautiful. And I also was looking around and I found this red stool that I totally forgot I had and look how beautiful it all turned out. Ooh, I love it. And right back outside, I've got these two baskets. They are really pretty the way they are, but like I said, I just wanted to give them a makeover. So I'm using this gray and blossom white, and we're gonna see how those turn out. Now, here comes the white. Look how beautiful that came out. And then this woven basket, um, it was kind of a dirty grayish color, but this gray color looked really pretty, and I love the white and the gray together. So what I'm thinking about doing is I want to add them, put them together, like stack them on top. And I wanted to use some leather, but then I'm like, wait a minute, I have some old leather belts that I just don't wear belts anymore, but I've had them in my closet forever, <laughs> you know, from the 80s. Ooh, I dated myself and I loved this belt. Look how much I wore it. And so I thought it was the perfect one to use. Now you totally could use some of the Dollar Tree leather or whatever that you wanna put. You could leave it just like this 
just with the baskets that you have, however you want to design it. We're just uh, a lot of inspiration. So in order for this to stay on there, I had to add some rope. And the rope looked great on there, I thought too, but um, it was easier for the belt to adhere to the baskets using that rope. So I'm just hot gluing that belt all the way across. Took a little time, I had to hold it for a bit. And here it is, what do you think? I love it. So you need to go in there and look at your belts and see what you can find because I think this turned out so great and you can flip it over it's reversible and here's how I styled it I just grabbed some beautiful pompous grass that I did order on Amazon and I'll link that down below I'm absolutely loving it it is so trendy and you can just add it all to your fall decor this season and this oh yeah I was like what is that is that a snake in the grass no, no, it's my little sweet baby. <laughs> she wanted to help me paint. She was underneath that plastic. Oh, yeah, and by the way, that's a plastic uh, shower curtain from Dollar Tree. Works great when you're spray painting. And so I'm using this navy blue uh, spray paint, and I really love this basket. It's always been one of my favorites. I've had it for a long time, but I just wanted to um, give it some of that navy blue. Isn't it luscious? That blue is so pretty. And I wanted to leave the natural color on top. There were a couple of boo-boos, but not anything that we can't handle. And my first thought was, again, to use some leather. Now, this leather little strap was from one of those leather purses that you can get at Dollar Tree. And I really, really liked it. I couldn't decide. Here's some leather that I had gotten from Amazon. But then I found another belt. Wait. Like, Wait, do I really want that one? Well, I really liked the cream color, but this belt that I had totally looks like the woven basket itself. Doesn't that blend in well together? So that was really lucky. I cannot wait to see what you guys can come up with because I know some of these you don't have, but it's a huge inspiration of what you can do with some of your baskets. I was also going to cut it, but then I thought, well, the belt buckle looks really good on there too. So I just used it, went with it, and hot glued that down, and it just came out so cool. I love it. What a great conversational piece for everyone to go and look in their closet for their leather belts. And so here it is all put together. I just added some pumpkins to it, and I just love this beautiful it's called true navy spray paint i think it will make one of your baskets really really ready for fall and our next couple of baskets here this one i have no idea where i got it but uh it it was uh, had these little rings on it that you see sometimes and just a plain old basket that everybody has right so I picked up Joshua tree it is my favorite color I am if you've been watching my channel for a little while I love green and this is one of my favorites kind of a chartreuse it is so pretty you can use this in any season it's gonna look great now uh, fall Halloween Christmas I made a Christmas tree if you look back at some of my videos I did a beautiful green uh, using this Joshua tree color and uh, for spring oh I just love this color so you can play around with taping one of your baskets in some kind of design. I kind of missed a spot there. I'm going to go back over it later. And then I'm going to put these two together. So I have one of these little knobs that you pick up at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to paint it white. And I gave it a couple of coats. I have my little mini drill that I picked up at uh, or on Amazon. I'll leave that below. I just twist the knob right on top and look, it becomes a lid. How fun. 
and I just put it right on top. Look how cool that is. Yes, I am a happy little basket now. And uh, you could put two baskets together. I think this is so cool. And that is a new little grateful leather uh, pumpkin that you could pick up at Dollar Tree. I show it again in just a little while. And for this one, I just added some lemons and limes. I thought that was really pretty. Any type of pumpkin would look beautiful. What do you think? We're gonna use some traditional colors. This is a little basket that I had. Um, I've used it for so many parties and when you go over to potlucks and things like that and <laughs> just hacking it to pieces. I took off the handles and it's already gold, but I'm going to spray paint it with this metallic color. And at first I was like, oh, you can't even tell the difference, but you do. It's sort of a coppery uh, metallic. I love it. And I really honestly did not know what I was going to do with that basket. I just spray painted it and just things started, started flowing in my head. Now this little basket, I'm using warm, warm caramel. It is so pretty. And I just spray painted that little cute little basket there. And then we're going to take them back inside and see what we can make. All right, so this first one, here's how it came out. I love that color. And I'm taking a piece of a board. You can use something from Dollar Tree. They have some scrap wood in there. And then I'm taking my uh, white shoe polish that I've used a lot. You've seen me on my channel use this. I love it when I'm doing little tiny projects where I don't have to pull out all my paint and it works beautifully. So when you're in Dollar Tree, go over by the socks and I think like um, the um, scarves and uh, little purses or things like that. And that's where you're gonna find the shoe polish. So now I put three coats on there and these are some new window clings. I love it grabbing some Mod Podge and I'm going to stick this beautiful little print on here that says, Hello Autumn. And what we are going to turn this little basket into is a pumpkin. I grabbed some of the sticks from Dollar Tree. They have them out now. And I put two together because I wanted the stem to be kind of long. Uh, put on some raffia. And then I'm gonna add the little Hello Autumn plate right inside. And I hot glue that on there and we are done. Look at that but I wanted it to stand up and it was kind of an awkward shape. So all I did was add one of those uh, easels from Dollar Tree, hot glued that right on the back and instant stand and it works perfectly. I actually have it up above my uh, refrigerator, on top of my refrigerator and it looks so beautiful. This is one of my favorites. And then the little basket here that was would use the um, warm caramel color. Look how pretty that is. And some more of the wood stems. Gotta have a stem for your pumpkin. And then these are some new floral picks at Dollar Tree, some sort of um, eucalyptus. And then a piece of old rope. I kind of just kept twisting on it and twisting on it until it finally curled. So it's like a little bit of the vine on there threw all that on and that was the top and I thought okay good but then I thought mm, it needs maybe just something more so I grabbed my wooden letters that I did pick up here you see there at um, on Amazon and these are some other ones that I got on Amazon they're a little bit thicker and so what we're gonna write out is hello pumpkin it's so cute And here are our two pumpkins with the beautiful fall colors. I just love that metallic oval basket. I bet you have an oval basket, don't you think? 
go look around, see if you can find it. And also don't forget to look at the thrift store. They always have baskets. And I'm hoping that I've inspired you to create some cool pumpkins using some baskets. Boy, do I love those colors. I love fall. I've got this old basket that, again, probably everyone has something like this. Martha Stewart says silver is in this season, so I'm gonna go with Martha Stewart. So I spray paint this one a metallic silver. Ooh, it's so pretty and can go right into the Christmas season. So these are some baskets with some handles. And once again, I just cut them off and you might be going, ah, oh, why'd you cut it off? I don't know. I just want to do something different to them. So I painted these in the ultra matte white. So we're gonna get that spray painted and then we'll go inside and put them all together. Starting with the silver one first, look how pretty that is. I am gonna use that cream colored strap from that purse from Dollar Tree. And all I'm doing is making four little loops. I just hot glued them uh, together like that and then left just a little loop at the top and I'm gonna put them on all four sides. One at 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock. And then I'm gonna use some of these upholstery pens. Let's put it together. I love how these handles kind of came out, little nice design there. And I love that they're on, uh, used four of them. So now I'm using the faux leather from Dollar Tree on the white uh, trio baskets. And I'm just using this to make a little kind of a handle looking thing or side piece, just a little detail on there. And a lot of you haven't found the leather yet, just keep looking keep asking they are constantly getting stuff in all right for this little basket I'm using uh, a couple of strips and I'm putting two of them together to make it thicker and because you're gonna see both sides I'm gonna make some handles on each side of this basket So I kind of loop them over uh, each other like that, like you see, hot gluing it on and then I add another upholstery pin in there. I just stick it right in. It just, it, it popped in there real nicely. You can see I didn't even have to cut off the sticky part because I needed it and I just pushed it right in. Worked perfectly. So ta-da on this basket. I love how that turned out. Now, here are the little, I guess they're tags, they're little tags and um, leather tags um, with a leaf and a pumpkin. One says grateful, one says uh, thankful. So I'm just gonna use one of those and then I added some beads on the end and I kind of cut it and just added that on there, hot glued it, I love it. It's not exactly the same color as the other faux leather, but I'm fine with that because look how it all came out. I just threw in my sort of neutral pumpkins and now I have this beautiful arrangement. I added a beautiful little napkin in there. Some of those leather pumpkins that they have now at Dollar Tree those green pumpkins and white pumpkins, and there's a pumpkin pick in there. Uh, those are from Walmart, uh, along with that cashmere mahogany candle. So look how beautiful this came out. Look at the silver. Ooh, I love it, so subtle. And if you see the pumpkin in the background, I made that one last year with one of those uh, sticker, uh, kind of sticky tile squares. And uh, I made a little pumpkin with that. So I hope you love the white trio pumpkins and the silver one. 
I hope you enjoyed all the basket hacks today and that you got some inspiration of what you can do with some of your baskets hanging around. Now, this basket right here, I got from a friend. She gave it to me. She was getting rid of some things. And I wanna know, should I do anything to it or should I just leave it alone? Should I paint the little star kind of shape in the center? or I want to know what you would do. So leave it in a comment down below. I love hearing from you. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you love the basket hacks. I had such a great time spray painting them and I loved it all and I hope you did too. I hope you got lots of inspiration. So don't forget to check me out every episode and make sure your alerts are on for Susie's stuff, KDIY channel 146. Bye everybody.